The war in eastern Ukraine has forced men, women, and children to flee their homes. According to the International Organization for Migration, more than one and a half million people are officially registered as internally displaced. These are people who escape war, seeking refuge in every corner of Ukraine. Being forced to start a life in a new place often means, among other frustrations and fears, unemployment. So what can displaced entrepreneurs do? Joining us today is Sofia Oshipska to talk about one project aimed at helping entrepreneurs affected by the conflict in Donbass. She's the project coordinator for Crowdfunding Academy, a project sponsored in part by UNDP and the British Embassy in Kyiv. She's joining us in Dubai. Sophia, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, Vivica. I'm happy to be with you today. And you just finished working on the Crowdfunding Academy. Can you tell us what this is? Uh, of course, uh, Crowdfunding Academy was a three months long project uh, initiated by UNDP Ukraine uh, with the financial support of the B British Embassy aimed at promotion entrepreneurship and support of the SMEs uh, in the conflict affected regions of Ukraine. So basically the Academy was a series of trainings and educational work workshops for SMEs from the Donbass region where we, the lecturers uh, t uh, taught them um, how to run their crowdfunding campaigns and how to collect money for their businesses or ideas. Uh, it was this uh, series of two workshops which took place in February where uh, uh, upon um, from 85 uh, applications that we received, we selected 15 teams who, came, who joined us in Kiev uh, for the training. Uh, so the training itself was organized by the International Crowdfunding Academy, uh, which is based in Croatia, which was kick-started by UNDP, uh, Alternative Finance Lab, hand-in-hand uh, -hand with the Ukrainian crowdfunding experts uh, be, uh, from Big Idea Platform and uh, Spilno Kost Workshop. That's the biggest Ukrainian uh, website for crowdfunding. Just talking about crowdfunding, I uh, would like to provide you a short definition of what it is. So basically, uh, crowdfunding is, uh, uh, um, is appealing to the audience online uh, to receive uh, money or uh, financial contributions for your idea. Uh, the most popular global crowdfunding platforms are Kickstarter and Indiegogo. And as I already mentioned, the most uh, popular Ukrainian platform is Spilno Kost. So, uh, so yes. crowdfunding isn't just about getting money, is this correct? Correct, exactly. And especially with the, when we do crowdfunding with the development focus, here our main uh, goal was to, to rally all available resources, financial and non-financial, to support the economic recovery of the Donbass and its integration to the uh, other Ukrainian territories. So we build the trust and connection and positive image in society towards these people, these entrepreneurs who lost everything, but they didn't give up and they want to create and they want to start business in Ukraine. And we are talking to all Ukrainian people now uh, and also internationals who want to support such people because thanks to crowdfunding, you can support them directly, not through some fund or program that you don't know where the money goes to, but you actually take your card and you put the money exactly to this person and you have an amazing level of transparency and trust created this way. And how many entrepreneurs are involved now? How many have received funding or have pro projects that are going on? Uh, so at UDP Ukraine, we had a wider program of the small grants supported by multiple donors, not only the British Embassy, but also the Japan and uh, Poland and Czech Republic. And that's been year running already for two years, where we provided small grants rising, uh, ranging from two to $10,000 for uh, starting the business. Crowdfunding was just additional instrument, which we wanted to taught the entrepreneur entrepreneurs because the grants mechanisms are not going to be there forever. And we wanted to give them some real life skills, how to raise funds and how to communicate and promote their uh, projects. Because crowdfunding is also a lot about communication and it, uh, for some businesses they already received grant for starting but they're using crowdfunding to more um, 
to exp expand their uh, business, do some addition to it. For example, in uh, Slovyansk, as you know, in the Donetsk region, this was the city um, uh, there, uh, one lady opened a cafe for you know, socializing, uh, creative arts and handicrafts. And now she's going to be running a, a crowdfunding campaign to open an open space, like an outside yard to have a fairs and workshops, this kind of stuff. So it's going to be also the addition of the project. Uh, all in all, in our small grants program participated only last year, I think 350 businesses, but I, I might need some, you can check on the UNDP website for the updated statistics because the program is ongoing wave by wave. And in the Crowdfunding Academy, uh, we have selected uh, 15 teams, uh, which equals to uh, 50 people who uh, completed the training and 12 teams have been further supporting in running their campaigns. Okay, so there, then, so uh, our viewers or anyone can go online to the crowdfunding academy. What will they find on the website? So yeah, you can check out our uh, small website, which was actually created by volunteers and there's a big support from Big Idea Platform. It was in joint collaboration with them, and there you see uh, the videos and the stories of the businesses. This is the ideas that they came to us for the academy, and they said, "This is something we want to do. We want to fundraise for that." And we help them to shape these ideas and shape them into the campaigns that then can be uh, funded and become uh, a real project. Uh, so you cannot see all the campaigns yet because it takes time. Some ideas were at the earlier stage, some were more ready. So the ones which are ready for campaigns are live now and the other campaigns are coming up. But thanks to the wonderful team of uh, Ukrainian film directors um, who helped us to film the videos, you can actually see the video uh, about each of these 12 ideas. And that has been really lovely and creative process uh, when people transmitted uh, their their project uh, with a video story and I highly recommend you to watch these videos because they are very inspirational. Oh wow and Ukraine has gotten really good at crowdfunding as we see a lot of people and volunteering as well. So what do you what are you seeing with the future of the crowdfunding academy? Uh, yeah, Ukraine has seen a big uh, movement of uh, civic activity and volunteers, especially right after Maidan. Then it had uh, been decreasing uh, because people had been tired of just giving money constantly for things. That's why uh, I personally see as a future it's uh, a crowd investment because these are businesses. So we want to bring it to the new level and we want to have a mechanism in Ukraine where people can not only donate money but also invest in such businesses. For example, a um, very interesting project, part of Crowdfunding Academy is the first Ukrainian electrobike, Voltico. You can see their campaign on Indigo, we actually it's still ongoing, you can still pre-order first Ukrainian electrobike for the a uh, very cheap price compared to the market and these kind of things they're not for donation they're actually for investment so the guys are uh, seeking for investors I think they already found some and we want to see more startups like that we want to see really strong Ukrainian startups going uh, going online and growing and growing Ukrainian economy Oh, wow. That is absolutely the next step. It's not about donations, but about investment and economic growth. Oh. Exactly. Thank you so much for being with us today. And thank you so much for telling us about the Crowdfunding Academy. We're definitely going to be following to see how it's working out. Uh, thank you very much. Please visit our website and just uh, if you can drop some dollars into the campaign, that will be a very big help to this inspire, inspiring people and that will help to inspire more people to do this and to run their campaigns. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you so much with, for being with us today. Today we're speaking with Sophia from the Crowdfunding Academy. Thank you for joining us today. Have a great day.